Hey guys, welcome to another episode about TSP programming. So in uh, our previous episode we uh, dealt with case when we use our uh, ESP8266 microcontroller as client and our local PC as a TCP server. But in that very same episode we dealt only with case when we need to establish single connection with single microcontroller. And now I'm going to teach you how to create server that is going to serve multiple microcontrollers indefinitely. And once again for that purpose I'm going to use Python programming language but you could use any other programming language that supports this functionality. And what is the most important thing in here to understand principle of how this works. And of course in order to uh, deal with sockets I'm going to import socket library. Then I'm going to import OS library. Now threading. So if you don't know threading it's a way to run multiple lines of code in the same time. But as you know this is not Python tutorial so I'm presuming that you already know those things. And now I'm going to import from threading thread like this and I'm just going to create socket af init and socket Sock stream because we are dealing uh, with uh, TCP connection and now I'm going to create class that is going to extend threading class communication threading thread and this class is going to deal with entire communication with single microcontroller. So whenever some microcontroller connects to our server, our application is going to create another thread that is going to deal with that communication. And we need uh, to define init. We need self in here. And we need connection that we are going to pass during uh, class declaration. And self connection is going to be connection and we need super in it and now I'm going to create class run to extend threading of course we have to provide self in it as argument and now first we are going to create variable received and that variable is going to hold what we have received from our microcontroller. In next step we are going to decode all of that. And now I have to check if received contains stop so if message from our microcontroller contains stop that command should kill this server so I'm going to take global s and that is uh, this uh, socket in next line I'm going to close that socket and I'm going to use OS exit in order to kill server. Now I'm going to exit from uh, this uh, if statement and I'm going to create a message with only one byte with value of five. And I'm going to send that message with self connection send and we are going to provide message as argument and of course we are going to close this connection. So you can consider this class done. So now what we are going to do we are going to uh, bind address uh, to this socket. So first I'm going to create that address. 
So this is case for my computer on my local Wi-Fi. For you, you are probably going to have different address. And I'm going to use port uh, same like in previous episodes. So 47828. So that's all. And now I'm going to bind this address to the socket. Like this. We are going to listen for incoming connections. And now with while loop we are going to assign those connections so now i'm going to write line connection addr equals s accept so with this while loop we are constantly going to await for incoming connections and when actual microcontroller connects to our server then we are going to create another instance of our communication class communication and we are going to provide connection as argument and now we are just going to start execution of this thread so with this line i can say that our uh, entire server code is done now we are going to deal with uh, code for our microcontroller so we actually don't need this part all right and i'm going to change this part too and in here I don't need these three statements and this part is totally okay so we are going to uh, create one uh, byte array that is going to hold only one byte and when we uh, read actual incoming communication from our server we are going to store that byte into a ch variable but in here what I want to do I want to use our it is on variable and I'm going to reverse its value so what I actually want to do uh, whenever we receive o5 command from our server we are going to reverse state on our led diet so if our led diet is turned off we are going to turn it on and vice versa and I'm going to use uh, this uh, bool variable just for that so if it's on else light low just like that save it and now I'm going to upload this piece of code I hope that everything is okay give it some time We are uploading now. And all right, uh, next part of this tutorial, I'm going to record with my camera so you could see final result. So guys, as you can see, our diode is blinking and our server is running. And uh, I have updated this uh, client uh, code with these two lines uh, for uh, printing and this go to uh, end statement uh, in order to jump out of this while loop because sometimes this loop is going to be executing twice. So that's all for this episode. I hope that you like this content. So please like, subscribe and see ya.